Hello everybody, my name is Matt and welcome back to Far Changing Tides. So we just pulled up that little bit of treasure that was actually blocking this way down here. And now we gotta fucking shove on this button extra hard. And that looks like it will open... Is it gonna do it if I move away from it? Alright, sweet. Okay, so that little bit of treasure only had some fuel in it. Which is nice to have, but no, like, actually buried treasure with, like, fat stacks of money or anything like that. We're not exactly fucking retiring here. But, uh, if I can remember how to play this game, we just fucking step on the pedal. We're good to go, baby. Yes, conveniently, in the last episode, I did kind of learn that you can shut off this engine area by basically just dousing it with water, which... Don't know how good that is for the actual fuel, but I guess I also don't really care. As long as we're moving forward, baby, I am happy. Uh, yep, that was the one, even though it's kind of hard to judge what you're doing. Alright, that thing's about to fucking explode. Or not. I don't know what happens when it gets too hot, but if the last game was anything to go off of, then uh, it's definitely an explosion. It would be kind of nice if you could hang that hose, like, right above. If there was a hook above the engine, you could just hang it there and kind of keep it going. Okay, so, on the open ocean, put this thing out. Again, not exactly sure if that's the best move, but you know what? It fucking works, so I'm not going to complain about it. And... Oh, wait, we've got some choppy waters. Okay. Uh, fucking get the sail ready. There we go. Alright. If we can do this without breaking our neck. Oh, damn, we're so good at this game. Hell yeah. Did I fuck it up? Yes, I did. Yes, sir. Got that natural energy. Alright. So is this like open, open ocean, or is this just more like a lake? And wind energy does not do you that good. I wonder if it gives you a significant boost if you kind of do both. With the energy and the, or with the, you know, with the sail and with the engine. Kind of want to try it. Thing is, the wind direction kind of keeps kind of changing. You have to be up here to direct this. So if it did give you a boost, I wouldn't think it'd be for that long because the engine fire will go out and or the engine will fucking overheat and explode. So maybe it's, <laughs> it's best to not try it, especially with the repair tool being a, a limited resource this time around. Okay, I kind of forgot actually to um, be checking our little thing. All right, it does not appear that there's any treasure, which is a shame, but... If treasure is only going to be, uh, like, fuel, then it's not super important that I keep, like, um, an eye out. Unless, of course, fuel becomes rare, but I don't really think that would be the case. Mm, very pretty. I like the choppy surf. It gives me an uneasy feeling. Like we're in rough waters. One of my favorite experiences, I gotta say I'm kind of weird in this way, but I love being on a plane when there's turbulence. And I love being on a large ship when, like a cruise ship, when it's going through choppy waters. That shit is so much fun to me. Obviously, if, you know, the whole ship capsized and pulled the Titanic, that wouldn't be that much fun. But just like sitting in a bed that, like for all intents and purposes, looks like a hotel but like the whole room keeps shifting 15 degrees in either direction that's just just fun i don't know i get a kick out of it hello i see something over there is that a cloud i think it's a cloud kind of look like it might be a structure for a second Ooh. got some debris excuse me yeah sorry about that Looks like someone didn't know how to fucking captain their ship. Or their buoy. God damn it. 
What the shit? Oh. Oh, okay. It got out of the way. Good. I need to... Oh, wait a second. Fucking pop that gear back in there. Okay. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there's anyone on it. Actually, I don't. Fuck them. I don't care. And that is definitely a cloud. I mean, I, I see the dark clouds. Is this supposed to be foreboding? Oh, shit. It's a wind. It's a wind. It's a fucking storm. Does that mean I'm going to get, like, super ultra mega speed boost? That would be really cool. And I was just kind of joking when I asked if we were going out to open sea, but it actually does, at this point, look like we're going out to the open sea. Which hopefully we can catch some fucking rogue waves and hit that shit hard, yeah? Oh, hello. Now we're fucking talking, baby. Why did I let go of that? I don't want to let go of that. Oh, hell yes. Oh, yes. Inclement weather indeed. I've already survived one massive wave, so this really ain't shit. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Whale. I couldn't tell if the whale was dead or not. But no, he appeared very much alive. Good for him. Come on, win! There we go. I kind of missed the headlight feature from the previous craft. Can you, like, strike the engine? Like, give me a speed boost or something? That probably wouldn't bode very well for the engine, but fuck it. So, can this thing double as a submarine by any chance? Somehow I don't think so, but it would be very cool. Oh, hell yeah. Man. See what I'm talking about? Like, if you were on a giant cruise ship, and it was rocking back and forth, this shit would be bonkers. I'm waiting for a giant wave to come by, but I don't think that is what's happening. In fact, I'm seeing land. Whoa, mister. Damn, son. Oh, it struck me. That's why I let go of the sail. Or near me, at least. Come on. Where's that wind? There it is. Okay, so I guess we just traversed the whole ocean. I guess what that's what that was. Did not experience catastrophic failure, so that's a fucking surprise in the books. So again, I'm not really sure where we're at in the story. If we're the same person that we were in the last game, or if we're exploring some like someone else's timeline completely. Although in that place a ways back, I guess we kind of got the idea of what happened. Like, people started, or there was a flood and people knew about it at least. I'm not sure if that is the apocalyptic scenario or if that is just one facet of it. Some, like, skeleton stuff back there. Either that or, like, fucking... Huh, <sighs> trees. Sorry, I am fucking tired for some reason, man. Ooh, yes! Oh, shit! Stop it! Stop! Well, okay. I guess impact damage isn't really what it used to be in the previous game. Can you let that thing down? I guess not. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the last episode, I had to release that, didn't I? And then I could press the button. I'm still not sure if that was the way it was when I first played. But at any rate, I guess it doesn't really matter. Are we going to get that third module now? That'd be pretty fucking spiffy. Ooh. 
Wait a second. This is just one giant rock, is it not? No passage through here. Unless we're about to get a fat crane and lift this thing up and throw it to the other side. Which, again, would be pretty cool. I'm not sh exactly sure of the feasibility. Well, I guess I'll shut the hell up. There's a giant crane <laughs> waiting here. Just for us. Uh Oh, hello. Motion sensor technology. Cool. Ah. Okay, weird. I guess this previous society wasn't exactly a fan of words. You know, the thing we kind of invented a long time ago to help us describe things. Are these different ladders? They are. Well, that one goes all the way to the fucking top. And so does this one. All right, then. Oh, uh, What are you, Mr. Man? Okay, we got the suck And the big suck. No, no, I would like to not. Jesus fucking... All right, what about that? What does this do? Oh, is this the, you're supposed to suck this? I'm confused about how this works. Uh, should I take you with me? I will just in case. Oh, that I was not supposed to jump there. All right. My bad. My bad. Fucking infinitely long rope. Jesus. Was I supposed to bring that? Whoa. Well, that's cool. Very spiffy. Let the wind do the work for you. I'm not exactly sure how long this is supposed to go on for. I was kind of just going to let it run. Alright, I'm dropping the fucking suction. Huh! Huh! Ooh. What is this, like a fucking nuclear reactor? What am I supposed to do with- Oh... Wait, question mark? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Ah, well, that's a shame. I wish I would have known about that before I fucking released it. Oh, I should probably stay on this, huh? So I'm guessing that's going to need to go all the way down. A nifty little invention. Oh, all the way down. All right, what's the what's the move here? Am I supposed to get? Oh, look, animals in the background. Hello, God, that one has some gigantic horns. Oh, uh, oh. Can I just pull this hook? Is that all right with you? Yes, all right. Fantastic. And we are getting the next module, which is very cool. Considering there's a giant wall in front of me, is it a little not exactly sure what it's going to be? Unless it's like a fucking rocket module, which would be bumping. But I don't want to get my hopes up just yet. Okay, thank you, repair tool. You are in the way. Is this the polometer? Yep. And this thing's heavy. And hopefully not fragile. Pull it up. Fucking switch it around. Switch it around. There we go. Can I just disconnect it? And just fucking drop it all the way down there? Oh, come on. Some of the other ones stay. Or is it that way? Oh. Nope. It wants me to hold it. 
All the way down in there, big boy. Jesus Christ, it's a long way down. Uh, hey. Oh, that's right. I got to punch it in, don't I? Uh, if I press this button, will it automatically retract it? It will. Cool. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going to take this with me if you don't mind. Oh, I'm glad I've got a fat, juicy ass to fucking cover this fall. Or ankles. One of the two. Yeah. Another module. Wow. Oh, of course. It is a submarine. It is a submarine. Of course, that's what that thing was just fucking teaching me. It was the one you fill it with air to bring it up and water to pull it down. Okay, well, I mean, batten down the hatches, I guess. I don't know if all this stuff that I have on the outside is going to, like, float away if I don't secure it. Um, oh, that's why you can alternate this thing. Ah, oh, baby. Oh, that is super cool. Oh, that is super cool. Whoa! Big lads. Okay, so there's multiple fucking treasure pieces around us. I think it's just picking up salvage and stuff to use for fuel, which makes sense. I just didn't know if there was like something bigger okay wait am i actually supposed to like modulate this wait a second i can actually keep that plugged in can't i put a little bit of air in it and stop a little bit more air just a little bit of buffer oh that is badass oh uh, i don't think i mean we're pretty good for fuel right now let's get this party started Oh, it's got like propellers in the front too. Hell, hell yeah. Wait a second. Can I go through that? I'm going to assume I can go through that. Oh, yes, sir. Good thing that wasn't holding up that entire quarry above me because that would be a sharp end to our journey. What the fuck's going on up there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I need water. Water. Woo! <laughs> Damn, baby. You think being surrounded by water, we could get like some liquid cooling action going on in here, but apparently not. All right. And again, I'm not sure what damaged this, but it's fine now. Uh, wait a second. What the fuck is this? What does this thing do? All ahead full. I'm a little hazy on how, like, what the optimum way to steer this thing is, right? Because there's a lot of moving parts here. Oh, shit. This was, this was incorrect. And we got to pull this all the way back. Get some lift. That's cool. But, like, none of it stays moving by itself. That's why I kind of get curious like well I mean I guess it's not really that hard to manage what's going on like in this case it's just the fucking this thing which apparently is broken bro what is happening in my ship or it's not broken I don't even know okay well let's get that back push to max and uh, put a little bit more air in the tank Okay. And I'm about to have to fucking take some water. Cool it down. Again, I feel like we should have uh, incorporated some damn, you know, water cooling, liquid cooling features into this. Oh, perfect. Actually, that's what I needed to do. 
All right, fuel is low. I'm gonna fucking bunts it back down there. Oh, shit, just barely missed. Come on, sugar, let's go. Fan them flames. Oh, I'm stuck on the, the thing. Okay, well let's get this back up to maximum so I don't have to come down here. Yeah, now we're cooking, baby. Now this radar thing makes a lot more sense. Being able to scavenge fuel from way down here in the depths is a lot more important than having to do it on the surface. Okay. Hopefully that engine can kind of contain itself for a little bit. I don't think it gets as hot if you're not pumping it actively. I think it tends to get warmer if you're actively hitting the uh, if you're actively hitting the furnace. Shit, the furnace is out again. Damn, I've got to remember to fucking fuel this thing. Get on up there, come on. Okay, we're still at all ahead full. Fan these flames, let's get it going. Ain't got all day here. Uh, I suppose it's okay to surface again. Let's give it a shot, why not? Yes, we have indeed made it through the underground catacombs. Am I out of fuel? I thought I had a lot more stockpiled than the back. Ooh, that is like highly unfortunate. I'm going to have to collect some fuel next time we come across it. Oh, wow. Look at that reflection. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, come on. Let's get it forward. Uh, okay, there is fuel ahead and below. Which, like I said, I am going to need because I completely neglected that element of the game while we were underwater. Okay, looks like it's going to be, uh, it's got to be time to scavenge a little bit. Alright, that took a little bit longer than expected, but I think we're all good. So we are inside a fucking massive cavern now. I didn't really realize that before. Getting zippity shit for wind. So it looks like we have to scavenge every little bit of fuel we can find. I'm not really sure what the back of the ship is for. Like the crane. Obviously there's larger pieces of salvage, but I'm not too keen on how to differentiate them from the rest of the salvage that uh, the ship picks up. Damn it, I wanted to do that. Yep, kind of why I wanted to uh, hit it a little bit earlier. Please, there we go. Gotta dial that back just a little bit. There we go. Am I supposed to connect to that and like dock to it? What's the big idea here? Okay, everything is moving too quickly. You stop doing that. You stop doing that. Everyone just calm the fuck down for a minute. You, I need to go up. Okay, so I'm curious. Am I supposed to go into that? Or did I, like, miss my turn? That's not what I meant to do. You're making me waste fuel here. Okay, hello. Alright, that's a bummer. What's, uh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. I completely missed that. 
kind of weird to climb a ladder underwater, I suppose. All right, so we have got to get a little bit of steam in the opposite direction. That way. And go pick us up some cargo. I'm unsure. Maybe I'm supposed to be on the surface for this. Okay, okay. Let go of that. Zero that. No, no. Zero. Thank you. Alright. Everyone just chill. Just chill. I really wish that button wasn't right there. Alright, so... Like I said, I'm not sure if I have to be on the surface. I mean... You know, might need that surface buoyancy to actually help me get this stuff working. But uh, I guess we'll see. You, I need you to hook onto that. And then fucking give it a yoink, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what this thing is. Pop! Oh, I'm not pulling it up. I'm pulling it over. Gotcha. Am I required to open it all the way, or... Is it cool if I just don't? Let's pretend like that's open all the way, shall we? Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Whoa. Bit of a face back there, my boy. Hello? This thing doesn't exactly have a built-in flashlight, you know. Nuclear reactor? Um, well, I... Can I see this, please? Alright, yeah, that looks good. Okay. So how long is this rope? Can I just stretch this thing all the way over there, or is that not kosher? Let's find out. No, 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 no. There we go. Come here. There we are. All right. The other thing didn't have a limit, so I'm gonna assume this one doesn't either. Hell yeah! Now I gotta make it all the way back and reel that bitch in. Which I'm assuming this stuff when the tank. Burst open won't just float away. Hopefully, at least. And there we go. And now we wait. Assuming this thing can actually make that pull. Does it work? Oh my god, yes, it is working. Holy shit. Quite violently. Alright. It is in fact fuel. Which is good. I need that. Not sure to what end. Because uh, the fucking other way is still blocked. So. Kind of want to know what's up with that gig. Ah. Okay. Okay. It was beneath the damn... Like a little statue. That's cute. It was beneath our previous treasure. Gotcha. Massive door swinging open. Yeah, I kind of parked my ship there because I thought I was like supposed to dock with that thing. <laughs> Clearly, I was mistaken. Ooh, big door, though. I love it. I'm taking the statue with me, by the way. Sorry, whoever's this was. Huh. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna hang this on my mantle. I should probably reel this back in. 
before I fucking take off and drag half the ocean along with me. Alright, let's get on the other side of this. Okay. You know what? I it's This is my fault. I need to move these repair items back here. That's... I have wasted like five pieces of fuel just trying to jump over that damn thing. I assume we can gain, right? Up here? Is this right? Or are we still in the cavern with no wind? Ooh. All right. Sweet. Well, made it through a bit of the underworld. Looks like we're going to have to probably go back down sometime soon. But very cool. We got another module. And there's at least one more, which is fucking sweet. So we'll just go ahead and leave it there because uh, we're about, what, 30 minutes in? A little bit more than that. And it is fucking hot in my room. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, baby. Summer's back in Georgia. You got to love that shit. I, I don't. I don't have to love it. And I don't love it. But it is what it is. So thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you had a fantastic week this week. Remember, even if you didn't, it's Friday, which means next week's a whole new week. So don't let it get you down. Enjoy your weekend. I hope to, I hope that you uh, have subscribed to the channel if this kind of content tickles your fancy. And uh, I hope to see you all here Tuesday. I'm not sure what we'll be playing. I don't really know if I want to play the Test 3 at least not quite yet. So uh, if you have any gaming suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from all of you. Like I said, remember to have a fantastic weekend. Eat lots of food, drink lots of water, stay happy, and stay healthy. And I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye-bye, everybody.